Now, there are a number of products that we encourage people to use. Now, this may seem like fluff, but over the years I've found that these really do help. Um, a lot of this will be written in your brochures, but again, part of the reason I'm doing this is so you have a chance to see the visual and listen um, to me explain it. Now, first of all, something over the years I've found really helps is cocoa butter. Now again, I'm not selling for Palmer's. This just happens to be a good brand. This one comes with vitamin E, that's fine. It doesn't have to be. This one is fragrance-free, which is fine. The one that has fragrance um, smells like those of us, and I shouldn't tell my age, remember as um, being, um, can't think of the word, but basically smelling like the lotions we used to put on to suntan back in the day before we knew sun was so bad. But some people like the smell of the others. Most people like the fragrance free. Now the reason for this is that this is a tremendous um, moisturizer for the skin. And I actually, um, one of an employee when I first started doing this told me about this. And it really works beautifully. There is something about it that I can't explain that especially when people get to the treatment of spider veins, it really helps with the cosmetic results. And I don't know why. Now most people when they get this love it. It's about the cheapest moisturizer you can buy. You can get it anywhere, Walmart, Kmart, Target, etc. And it's very inexpensive and works beautifully. You can put it anywhere on your body and it works great. Now, the reason that I like this brand is you need to look at the list of ingredients. All of these, of course, the first ingredient will be water. This one has basically cocoa extract as number two. Um, many of them, if you look at them, if you look for the cocoa extract, it's ingredient number 20. So whatever you buy, it should be number two or close. But I do like this brand. Now it comes in tubs. It comes in um, what looks like lipstick or um, gloss that you can put on your lips if you want to use it. Um, there's some that's just pure cocoa that is really hard to use. This I like um, because you can spread over a large area. But we do encourage people to use this. Do you have to? No. Is it going to affect your results? No. Now, this is something that I tried years ago when I first started doing this and felt that it did nothing. Um, Arnicare or Arnica is supposed to help with inflammation, discomfort, and bruising. Well, we tried this, didn't think it helped. Um, it actually comes in a pill form. People tend to have stomach upset and it was expensive, so I stopped using it. Now, uh, very often my staff are smarter than I am, and sometimes if you revisit something, you'll find that, yeah, in fact, it does, does work. Well, my nurse said to patients, let's go ahead and try this, because most people, their bruises last seven to 10 days, and the bruising is really most prominent after the spider vein treatment. The other treatments we do really have very little bruising. So in any case, she's encouraged her patients to use this, and guess what? They love it. They've been getting great results. Now, why now? I have no idea. It may be that the concentration is different. Um, you know, products now, of course, tend to be more pure. And this, just from reading it, um, has arnica, and then, of course, everything has alcohol, etc. But it just, I think it's probably a higher concentration. But um, you can try it, and it's up to you. You can get that Walmart, Kmart, etc and it's about $8. I'm a big Amazon fan and found that it still cost $8. So, Now, one thing that's key, um, I let patients during treatment go into the sun. Um, again, this is heresy. Most people would disagree with me. I have done this for the last several years and haven't had any problem with it. I tell people not to sunbathe, which makes sense, and you have to be very careful with your use of sunscreen. Now, they came out with, not well, probably five years ago, sun block. And there's something in it called helioplex. Now, I just happen to have Neutrogena here. There are different brands that now carry this helioplex. It's very careful because you could pick out Neutrogena 
and you may find one that will say Neutrogena Sport, but it doesn't have Helioplex. So make sure it has that. Now this is 100 plus, you don't really need that. Probably 30, 45 is enough. But the key is to use it every two hours. If you do that, that way you're not uh, rinsing it off if you're in the ocean or at the pool, you're not rubbing it off, um, and that way your skin is protected. But if you do that, you can be in the sun. And that's a huge thing for people. Uh, what I'm trying to do is to make this so there's very little downtime for people and that they can continue to do their normal activities. Now, I just happen to have this here. Um, this is spray-on tan. This happens to be Sally Hansen. Um, there's different brands now. This was from quite a long time ago. I find this works really well. So if you're going out one night and you want to cover up things, this is just, I'll spray it here. It's a spray and it comes obviously in different um, intensities, but you put it on and it's very easy to use and your legs look great. Now there are creams that you can use and they're different brands. I've used the Target brand before and find that it works fine. The problem with that is you have to use it on an ongoing basis so it's sort of a pain. Um, so, but they're less, the, the color is much better than it used to. Now the funny thing is that looks very orange which is the main complaint or was the main complaint in the past. But this really, the newer ones have a much more realistic color. So of course, I don't want you to sunbathe any anytime, but this will help cover up things. Now you can go and get a mystic tan or a spray tan. That's fine too, okay? Now you'll need to talk to the nurse as she's doing the spider veins because this can make it difficult to see them. But just ask her and she'll let you know. Um, Let's see, so those are our various goodies. Now, um, one final issue is I'm gonna tell you briefly about this now and then I'm gonna do a different video for this. But aloe is wonderful. Um, these days, most everybody knows about aloe. And most people have known for years that this is helpful for burns. So a lot of people keep an aloe plant in their house and if they have a burn may rub a little bit on them. Well, what they're finding, which is very interesting, is that it's anti-inflammatory. So there have been studies where they're using it now on um, uh, arthritis, psoriatic arthritis or psoriasis, um, different types of dermatitis, um, just all sorts of things. The other thing that's interesting is the way I found out about these, I don't know if you guys are old enough to have seen Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, but these remind me of the size of the plants then. But a patient came in with these huge leaves that I'd never seen before. And they work a lot better in terms of the areas that I'm gonna to describe to you because they're so big. Now you can get these at um, Whole Foods. I've seen them at Harris Teeter. The first one that I saw was brought in by a Hispanic patient and they carry them in international food stores. Now the interesting thing is that Hispanic patients in particular, but now it's getting to be more and more popular and better known, is they will make this into something that you drink. Now I've never done it, I can't imagine it because aloe smells bad, I can't imagine how it tastes, but they put it together with different ingredients and it's supposed to help your skin, your energy, weight loss, sex drive, you name it, it's supposed to fix it. So go for it. I've seen a YouTube on it. Um, it's funny, it looks gross, but that's what people are doing. But we use the aloe and have for years on the skin to protect the skin. I always say the skin is the next door neighbor of the vein and you wanna inflame the vein but you don't want to inflame the skin. So if your neighbor had a fire, it's possible that your shrubs between you might get singed. So what we want to do is to protect the skin. So that's why we have you use aloe. And I'm going to have a separate video that will explain to you how to do this.